If you're new to trading the financial markets, it can certainly be daunting and overwhelming, especially at the beginning. There are many resources out there telling you what you should do, but what about what you shouldn't do? In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 mistakes that you can and need to avoid in order to be successful as a trader. So stick around. First, I want to give a quick shout out to FXView. FXView are a trading broker, allowing access to different markets such as Forex, commodities, indices, and stocks. FXView have some great features that set them aside from other brokers, including raw spread accounts, low cost commissions, deep liquidity, high leverage up to 500 times your account size. EAs and hedging are both allowed. They also have multiple trading platforms, including MT4, MT5, and ActTrader. There are no fees for deposits or withdrawals. And most importantly, FXView are licensed and registered with many different global regulators, including the Financial Conduct Authority. You can open an account with FXView with as little as five US dollars. Alternatively, if you're not ready for a live trading account, you can open a free demo account, which allows you to practice trading in a risk-free environment. Check out the link below in the description to start trading with FXView today. I'm going to kick off with the number one mistake that most newbie traders make and that is to start trading in a live account with real money. Just don't do it guys, definitely start off with a demo account with fake money where you can practice how to trade in a risk free environment and save losing your money in the process. Put it this way. You wouldn't jump straight into driving a real car on your own with no lessons whatsoever, or better yet, a plane, because that is closer to what it would be like when you are trading with real money. There are many brokers that you can sign up to for free, and you can create a free account with them, a free demo account, which enables you to practice in a simulated environment with fake money. I'll include a few links below in the description if you wanna check those out so you can get going and sign up for free now and protect your money and your account. The second biggest mistake made in trading for new beginner traders is to buy the first expensive course that you see on trading. Unfortunately, there are a lot of scammers out there, a lot of trading gurus who claim to have the secret, who have the holy grail of trading. If only you would provide them with $3,000 plus for those all important trading secrets. I'm telling you guys, don't fall into these traps. strategy-led training session where I'm going to show you Shut up Greg! It doesn't have to be this way. There are plenty of free resources out there that will help you to learn the skills and the techniques and the strategies that you need to be able to trade the markets. The best thing that you can do is stock up on these free resources and more importantly practice. Get the chart time, practice the techniques, practice reading price action, build your strategies and then practice them in a free demo trading account, all whilst protecting your all important capital so that you have more to play with when you are actually ready to trade with real money. Mistake number three that a lot of beginner traders make is quitting their day job straight away. I've had quite a few people get in touch with me over the time who have said, hey, I am so excited to start Forex that I've handed my notice in at my job. And that is not the way to start off when you are trading. I don't recommend that for a number of reasons. Firstly, you're gonna need your job to pay your bills because trading is not going to make you that money straight away at the beginning. As a beginner trader, you're very unlikely to be able to make the money that you need to make a living consistently from the beginning. Would you say to yourself, I'm going to quit my job so that I can become a doctor? No. What you're more likely to say is, I'm going to rethink my hours that I dedicate to work so that I can create some flexibility in my work schedule that will enable me to go to university to study to become a doctor. And that is the better approach to have when it comes to learning how to trade. Mistake number four is thinking that you will be rich in a matter of a few months. I'm sure that you've heard the stories, the same as me, of the different people out there who claim to make thousands, even millions, in a matter of a few months of starting to trade the markets. Well, first of all, that is highly unlikely. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, it could happen. But the question is, do those people continue to make that money? Probably not. 
You see, the chances are that they have had a fluke. They have had a streak of luck and they have won a gamble and they've won a load of money. But the chances are that when they return to the markets, they were probably going to lose it all again because if they are approaching the markets from a gambling perspective, then you can't win every time, can you guys? Being a successful trader means making consistent profits. Consistently, over a period of time, profits that you can depend on. It doesn't mean winning every now and again by gambling and then losing it all the next day. And it just takes time to develop the skills and the techniques necessary to be able to trade and make consistent profits. Mistake number five, thinking that trading is easy. It really is not. It can be simple. I remember somebody saying to me, and I thought that this was a brilliant way to put it, is that trading is one of the hardest ways to make easy money. You need to have a solid understanding of not only the markets, but also yourself. And this is where a lot of traders struggle. Number six is focusing on the money. When I first started trading, I focused on the money. I focused on the currency, the amount of money that I wanted to make when I was trading. Now I have switched my perspective completely and I focus on my account in terms of percentages rather than currency because it allows you to calculate and manage the risk on your account which is a lot more important and will serve you far better in the long run than focusing on the money. So for example, what percentage of my account can I be comfortable losing per trade? It is far more effective to follow a process oriented approach when it comes to trading rather than focusing on making money. Not having a plan. The worst thing that you can do as a beginner trader is jumping straight into a trade with no idea as to what you're going to do when you are in there. Because when you are in that trade, you are in that trade. And if you don't have a plan or an idea of what you're going to do, you could get into a lot of trouble. For example, the trade might start moving against you. Depending on what you've jumped into and at what time, the trade might rapidly start moving against you. And as you start to see your account dropping and dropping and dropping, you might freeze because freezing is a part of a trading emotion that a lot of beginner traders experience. And if you haven't got a plan in place, if you don't have a stop loss in place, that could really build up a big loss for you on your account. So by all means, it's so important to have a trade plan in place that ideally has a idea, an idea of where you're going to get out if the trade goes against you and where you're going to get out if the trade goes in your favor. Better yet, stick to using hard orders. Have a hard stop loss in place and a hard take profit in place so that your broker will automatically get you out of the trade those orders that you have set as part of your trade plan. Mistake number eight, that is to blindly follow others. There are a lot of resources out there, such as chat rooms, traders who want to share their live trading, different signal services, that offer the ability for you to simply copy what they are doing. But what that means is that there are people who come along that don't really have any real trading experience of their own, and they will blindly follow other traders. They will copy what trades they are doing, and they will do them themselves with real money. And this is really quite a big mistake to make because you are not making your own decision when it comes to trading. You are putting your trust into a company or a person that you don't even know if they are worth putting your trust into, and you are holding no accountability for your actions. It is far better to make your own trading decisions, to hold yourself accountable, to learn and grow from your mistakes, and to really enjoy the wins because you know that you have earned them, rather than blindly following others and potentially getting yourself into a pile of losing trades. Mistake number nine, and this is very common amongst beginner traders, and that is to over trade. Because right at the beginning, trading can feel extremely addictive. Even if you're trading in a demo account where you're not using real money, it can still be a mistake to get into the habit of over trading because you're going to burn yourself out. When you are over trading, you can easily become overwhelmed and this can have a very detrimental effect on your long-term growth as a trader. It's much better to take it slow and steady and give yourself room to grow. Take a few breaks, switch off the charts, because when you are not studying and practicing trading, when you're not over trading, you can have a break, but your mind is still gonna be building those neural networks that you need to learn and develop and grow. And when you return, you might be surprised by just how much you've grown in that space that you gave yourself away from the markets. By not over trading, you'll be able to 
focus and see much more clearly and have a much better performance rate when it comes to trading. And finally, another mistake carried out by a lot of beginner traders is to clutter their charts and to not see candlesticks clearly. A lot of beginner traders will think that a very busy chart means they are being very clever and that's not always the case. Quite often you'll see a lot of beginner traders pile so many different indicators onto their charts, they will add another moving average and another moving average and maybe some Bollinger Bands and perhaps a MACD and maybe some volume bars and oh let's see what else this can do, what's this indicator, that's pretty, let's put that on there and before you know it you can't even see what candlesticks are doing on the chart in the first place. All you can see is this mess of spaghetti that you have on your charts that you think are going to help you trade somehow. Analysis paralysis is real and it can be much better to keep it super simple. Clean, clear charts can really help you to see just what price action is doing. And price action is the most important part of the charts because that is the history of price, the movement and the flow of the market. That is what you are looking to analyze and what you are looking to predict the movement of. Now I'm not saying that you can't use any indicators at all and by all means, some of them can be useful when you incorporate them into your strategy. But as a beginner trader, it is a lot of the time it's better to just start off with less and focus on the basics and getting the foundations right. Focus on market movements, focus on structures, focus on identifying trends and ranges and other aspects of the market behavior. Do you have any mistakes that you think should be included in this video? Be sure to leave your comment below and share your experience, share any mistakes that you think I might have missed out. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.